Hey what's up guys Himanshu here with another very exciting and very useful tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can get your rigged character animation and uh, also your deforming mesh Maya to Cinema 4D without any third party plugin and also do some uh, little bit of lighting inside of cinema just for touch. So stick to the video and I will show you this very quick process. And also guys, please subscribe to my channel and check out some more awesome tutorial on my YouTube page if you want. So, okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so let's create something uh, very simple here. Uh, let's take a plane, polygon plane and create a plane and rotate this to maybe 90 degrees. Z. Let's uh, turn on the two-sided lighting. Let's uh, bring this a little bit up. Okay. Let's increase uh, the subdivision here for the width and height. So I think this should work fine. And let's apply the end cloth on to these uh, uh, polygon objects. So choose end dynamics and create end mesh and choose end cloth. And if I hit uh, play the animation, so it's uh, falling right now. So let's uh, select this nucleus and uh, turn on this use plane so now if uh, I play the animation that's, uh, so you, you can see the uh, cloth animation okay let's uh, select the side view And let's choose the vertex mode and select these vertex. Shift key to select this. Okay. And now go to the end constraint and choose transform. Okay. And now if I play the animation can see it's uh, not falling down because it's, uh, it's the arc, uh, end cloth object uh, stick to this uh, transform uh, control so so uh, if I uh, to the end solver and select this interactive playback and now move this so you can see the animation very cool okay let's uh, set the keyframe for uh, animation so hit S Select this and this. Okay, it's already done. done. So let's scrub through the timeline and move this point here and the third keyframe, maybe right here okay now if I play so very cool animation okay now uh, so now let's uh, uh, export this animation for cinema so first we need to 
select this uh, end cloth object and create a cache so in the end cache create a new cache place existing okay the caching process is done and now select the object again and uh, uh, in the animation tab you will find this uh, geometry cache so create a new cache for this geometry okay okay done so the one last final step is select the in cloth object and choose export selection let's uh, name it uh, in cloth and make sure that you have select this uh, history switch one set okay so uh, let's export selection uh, okay so now let's uh, uh, import this uh, cloth animation into uh, the cinema 4d okay so here we are in cinema 4d and let's quickly choose file open and let's choose this endcloth.fbx file so open and okay okay so you can see the my animation into cinema 4d very quickly and very easily so you can uh, also apply the subdivision surface let's simply make a child and it's done you can also apply the material let's pick a color maybe like two and it's very quick and easy process okay guys so uh, let's go back to the Maya and now import uh, some rigged animation into the cinema okay guys so we are in Maya and uh, this is my very simple looking animation and uh, uh, in order to uh, import this uh, animation into the cinema 4d we have to cache this uh, animation in the alembic dot uh, abc file so let's grab the character uh, go to the window and outliner this is the character and select this and uh, choose pipeline cache and uh, export selection to alembic you can uh, also export uh, uh, all to alembic but uh, I'm just uh, I'm just doing it separately so export selection to alembic and let's place this okay so let's uh, open cinema and choose file open and with the project cache alembic and this is the walker so hit ok ok so here's the uh, animation very simple ok uh, let's uh, uh, export the camera from Maya and import into the cinema so go back to Maya and uh, select the camera so this is the uh, camera so we already uh, looking through the camera so click the camera and uh, Go to the pipeline alembic and export selection to alembic Let's place this camera .abc file 
Okay, open this Sigma 4D and let's merge the object camera. Okay, it's very cool. Wow, okay. One thing is missing here, so let's import this. So choose stir and we can just simply export selection and put uh, export this as a obj file so place this like the cinema and merge object project default scenes and choose the stir dot obj file okay so Okay guys, so here is uh, another uh, very simple rig setup uh, with my animation. So let's import this into Cinema 4D. So go to the window, Outliner and go to uh, select this chubby character and go to the pipeline cache and export selection. Let's name it chubby. Oh really, I like this name. So export selection. So this will take a little bit of time to calculate the LNB cache. Mm, okay. Mm, go. Okay. So done. Uh, let's uh, go back to cinema and choose file open choose this chubby.abc file hit open and ok it's loading oh there we go so so this is the animation let's delete all these uh, shitty things so so let's uh, select this character it's a very cool trick if you select the character and uh, into uh, this object panel if you hit s so here this is the file so you can just delete it or you can grab this live selection tool little bit slow uh, okay select this and delete Okay, so it's done. Okay, let's uh, put some uh, material.
Okay guys, so uh, it's all looking good except uh, his eye looks like he's uh, blind but uh, we can solve this problem with the uh, texturing process but uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Hopefully you get the uh, idea here. So that's the tutorial. I hope you learned something. So it's a very cool way to import your simple dynamics like uh, cloth and deform objects. So it's uh, really fun. Then you can light into the Cinema 4D uh, because there are a bunch of awesome plugins uh, for Cinema 4D that give you, gives you the freedom to achieve uh, some very good looking renders in very short amount of time. And uh, I think Maya doesn't have much plugins. So um, you can try this technique. So okay, uh, if you also guys, if you like my video, please uh, give a big thumbs up and uh, Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you want some more tutorials for uh, Cinema 4D, After Effects uh, and more uh, design tutorials and motion graphics tutorial. And uh, you can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I put the link in the description. So check that out. So okay, bye everybody. We will see you next time.